Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the uh, Chelsea uh, Rantman YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking about why I don't really have friends. Um, I just watched a video um, um, to a YouTuber that I'm subscribed to. Um, he's, what's it, Mr. Antinatalist and he was talking about, and obviously I don't like to copy people's videos, right? It's not like I'm trying to copy, like, my whole YouTube channel is about copying him. Right, because I've already made a cooking video. Yes, yeah, so actually, feel free to watch the uh, cooking video if you want. I need to come up with new recipes. That's the only recipe that I'm actually decent at. I can make flatbreads, actually. I could teach you how to make flatbreads. That'd be quite interesting. But then, is that really... I, I don't know. Maybe I'll post it. I, I don't know. I mean, if you want me to post it, put it in the comments or whatever. But, um, yeah, the reason why I don't have any friends is simply down to the fact that most people are just sheep, right? Most people just don't give a fuck about me. Like, most, even most of my family don't care. Like, I, pretty much other than my sisters, especially my older sister and my mum, they're the only really people that care about me. Maybe my dad cares me about it a little bit, but throughout my childhood, he's kind of emotionally neglected me. You know what I mean? Um, but enough of family, yeah. The reason why I don't have friends is simply down to the fact that I just think friends are a waste of time. Not just that, but I don't really want friends. Well, it's not I don't want them. It's the fact I just don't care if I have them or not. If I have a friend and they, we can relate and things like that, that's great. If I don't, that's right. You know, that's that whole saying, isn't there? I'd much rather be lonely. It's much better to be lonely than be with people that make you feel lonely. Very true. And I, the last mate I had, he was, um, I'm not going to say his name, but we were friends for like two, three years. Like we were best friends. You know, we all, like each time we saw each other, we always, not like hugs, that you know, only like man hugged or fist bumped each other. We were well, very well close. We always had each other's back. We almost invited his, um, he had a girlfriend at one point and I was even close to being, going to a party and meeting with a bunch of women. That would have been fucking amazing. But I never got invited. The party got cancelled, you know. Unless he was just lying, because he liked to lie a lot. It's like Jay from the In Betweeners. <laughs> um, if that's if you even seen the In Betweeners. And yeah, like just just in general, life was, you know, life at that time wasn't bad. It wasn't great because I still had to deal with bullying. You know, I would, you know, kids would, you know, and that's another thing. The reason why I don't have friends is because a lot of the people that I hanged out with at school bullied me you know there were very few actual friends and even the ones that were friends with me at one point you know before and after but I mean I was this kid and again obviously I'm not going to name any names here but um he always made up rumors saying I fancied his girlfriend did all this and he would say like, he would group up with his mates and they would push me to the floor you know they, they would sort of be all horrible to me and make like false accusations against me and make rumors about me and all this stuff right and say that I was gay and <clears throat> All that bollocks. And then we became friends. And then apparently one time I touched his dick and I had a go at him saying, why are you making up shit about me? And then said that it's a joke and I need to take a joke. But then pushed me and then said, push me back. It's almost like he wanted me to start fighting with him. But I'm like, why? I didn't do anything. I didn't touch your dick. I didn't feel anything, mate. Either that you have a very small cock. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, what's the problem? Like, I thought we were mates. I thought we were good, but... What do you know? Yeah, we ended up becoming enemies after that. And then after a few weeks, he said, oh, you're right. Like, two weeks, like, nothing. Almost like this whole time, he hasn't been taking the piss and spreading false rumours. And you know what I mean? Like, he, I came up to him, and he uh, he pushed me, and I pushed him back, and he said, oh, I pushed like a girl. You know, just being a dick. <laughs> There's always water, isn't there? There's always me drinking something. That is the channel signature. This cup is the signature of this channel. It literally is like merchandise for this channel. Obviously, I'm not selling merchandise, but you see the point, because I'm always drinking out of this cup when I'm recording. But, yeah, and that's another reason why I have friends. Friends will always find a way to betray you. They just will. Um, my, and that's another thing. The other kid that I mentioned beforehand, we were best mates. You know, when we, when we were on my birthday, we both went into a place called Blue Water, which is like in Dartford, pretty much. So, basically, next to London. And we had a good time. He got like a little uh, parrot, uh, like, like a little parrot off a men's kind, and it would go in, <whistles> and like, show us your tits. And all this is so fucking. He kept playing it out in the middle of blue water. I'm like, Aaron, mate, you're, 
I've just said his first name. I'm not going to say his second name, obviously. But he's in, show us your tits. <laughs> and I was, like, I was literally like looking, I was like, mate, what are you doing? And there was this girl, there was this quite fit girl, very attractive young woman. And she was bending over me and he kept looking at me and he got to ask her out. I was like, no. She's, and she was working anyway. She was working in, I think it was like JD Sports. She was quite fit though. I was like, I'm 18 now, I'm a man now. It's about time I shoot my shot. Um, but yeah, we had a good time over lockdown. We sneaked out of lockdown. We broke the lockdown rules. Did we break down lockdown rules? No, we didn't actually. No, we didn't. No, because it was one, yeah, you could be with one person. So, yeah, I actually didn't break the lockdown rules. But, um, you know, we played football together. That was fun. And after that, yeah, that was great. Um, but then he met one of his old mates and then another one. And it wasn't him that was the problem. It was his mates. It was his mates. They were just dickheads. I just didn't like them. There was one time where we were swearing and whatnot. And this lady came up to us in a pub and told us to keep it down because she doesn't want her kid listening to any swearing. Understandable, right? And then they started, these, the lads I was hanging with were having a go at her. I'm like, why? I, she was a bit of a Karen about it. I could see it from both perspectives actually looking at it now. But I just thought to myself, why am I hanging out with these dickheads? Like, why am I hanging out with them? Do you know what I mean? So after a while, I just I just blocked them on social media because I had them on social media. And I blocked them. I just didn't want anything to do with them anymore. And I, my other mate that I was best friends with, I just thought, I felt like he was singling me out a little bit. Like I was being left behind. It wasn't like jealousy because it's not. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not like, it wasn't like jealousy the reason why I didn't like them. I just thought they were very mouthy and, you know, they were just chat, they were just yapper, yapper, yapper. Like they would take, you know, they would get a football and then all they would do was to spend time chatting shit about other people in the hut next to the foot. I was like, I want to play football. I didn't come here to chat shit. I came here to fucking take action and play football, right? I'm just wasting my time. And they're just lying to me and wasting, giving false promises and just wasting my time. I just stopped hanging out with them, right? If they're not interesting me, why should I hang out with them? And it's not like they never did anything for me. Aaron did do things for me, but I just preferred to hang out with Aaron. Um, and then one time uh, during lockdown 20 2020, I had got the virus because I don't want to get cancelled again. And but at the same time, my uh, one of my family members got cancer, and I called up my uh, mate and I said, you know, I called up. You know, I've already mentioned his first name now, Aaron. And he was with his other mate. And his other mate, I told him that I had the virus and that I had, you know, that I just found out my one of my family members had got cancer. And he went, ha, 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 and like laughed. How is it funny? Like, is it, like, I can't remember everything, but all I remember, he was just laughing, going, ha, ha, you got the virus, ha. Like, fair enough, you're laughing for having the virus. That doesn't, I don't care about that, but don't laugh when, like, when family members just, got on an illness. Do you know what I mean? It's very disrespectful. So I just thought, I didn't like hanging out with you guys anyway. And well, you know what I mean? I'm going to stop hanging out with you. Because simply as, that's just disrespectful. And the worst part is, my best mate, as I think you know his name by now, didn't even stick up for me. Just said, oh, come on, you know, so and so. You know, that's not the right thing to do. Don't laugh. He's, you know, his family members just got hands out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not very funny. Because it's not, it's not funny. I wouldn't laugh at my, I mean, I, I like taking the piss out of people, but I wouldn't take the piss out of someone when they've just said that their family member's got cancer, especially if they're serious about it. Like, you don't take the, you don't laugh, do you? It's not funny, it's sad. You're not meant to laugh. I mean, maybe I just got offended over it, I don't know, but well, I did, but it's like an understandable reason why I got offended, if that makes sense. So yeah, I just cut them out. Plus, they were boring cunts anyway. You know, Aaron, let's say, you know, he, he was in other people over me I wasn't treated fairly the same way other people was so I just left them and put them aside really and then there was another mate that I had and he yeah he was actually not that bad he didn't even like because him and my other mate that I just talked about didn't like each other and I think that's why he he didn't like the fact I was hanging out with this other guy 
So I think he just made up false rumours about me on Xbox saying that I called all his mates on Xbox a, a cunt and all, the, all these other words. And yet, even though there was no proof of that, I literally told, told the gamer tags that I was trolling in GTA at the time. Oh, those, those gamer tags aren't the ones that you were messaging. I'm like, then what's your problem then? There's no evidence. So what's your problem? You're just making shit up. He was making shit up. Pretty much because he didn't like me. He got jealous and didn't like me at the fact that I was hanging out with Aaron. So he made up rumours about me on Xbox and things like that. And I he married because it was Xbox anyway. But he's just stopped hanging out with me. And then when we went back to college the second year, he looked at me almost like I... Like, he almost like... Talk, you know when someone looks at you like that and going, Yeah, he's like, you know, he's over there. <laughs> you, you, see the, you see the point that I'm making, right? Where they're just like talking to someone next to them and they're looking at your direction. Almost like they're probably talking about you. Like, most likely, anyway. You don't understand, no, but there's a feeling, do you know what I mean? And, and yeah, that was it. And then I think it was because I was still friends with my other mate, Aaron. We basically, um, him and his mate and a mate that came down from London, quite, I mean, is he dodging? Not really. But I guess he involved himself with some shit. I don't know. I don't even remember his name, to be fair. And we got some eggs and we egged his house. We also egged the school, the old school that I went in. So all those years of being bullied by kids and stuff, you know, being physically bullied, the whole class making up rumours about me, kids playing my old YouTube channels in front of the video and traumatising me pretty much. I mean, a lot of my mental health problems, especially over the pandemic and just in general, all, and all my insecurities during my teenage years all started because of the bullying. So these bullies, so-called bullies, you know, at the time have a lot to answer for. But, you know, it is what it is now, that's years ago. But, um... Yeah, I went round his house and me and my old best mate, we egged his house and then we went into the school, we egged the school. That was years ago now anyway, so I've just admitted that I've trespassed. I mean, to, to be fair, that's years ago, they have, yeah, whatever. And that was it really. And then um, a year ago, he kept knocking on my door. Like, I mean, like repeatedly, like I, I literally said, no, I don't want to hang out. And he kept knocking on my door. It's like stalker-like behaviour. It literally was like stalker-like behaviour. So the mate, the, the, the person that I egged, they want to be friends with me again a year ago. But I just thought, I don't want the same shit, mate. I just don't. Like, I'm done with it. And yeah, and that was it. And then there was another mate uh, around my dad's called, yeah, Charlie. And he was actually a nice lad. He stuck up for me a couple of times. No, he was a nice lad. Like, do you know what I mean? But he's living his own life now, you know. There was one time where we went into a Curry's PC well when we were, when I was eleven and he was twelve, and uh, no, he was thirteen. I was twelve actually. So he's six months older than I was, and we went into Curry's PC world and he hacked the uh, laptops and he put on porn, anal porn on the uh, computers, and all you heard was the distance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> and this old man come over. I was looking at it. I was like, what the, what the hell is that? <laughs> it was his facial reaction was class. Me and, we look, me and my mate were looking at each other thinking, that is amazing. <laughs> oh dear, it was brilliant. We had some good times together, man. We, there was one time when we got drunk and it, we we um, I, we I got all like mouthy and we started, we didn't get into like fight fight, it was like a play fight. And he pushed me over to the floor and I just sat there for two minutes just laughing right outside my dad's house while when I was 14 and I was drunk. And I was lit. I had like four, or five beers by then, and I was a lightweight. Like, like even now, I'm a scrawny little cunt, right? But it was fucking brilliant. And then we had to cover it up. And then we went all. We went up a road, and there was this main road. And because my mate, that I was just talking about, Charlie, um, literally nearly walked out in front of a car, and he said, <laughs> it, "It was don't get me wrong. It was like scary as hell because I could have just potentially had my whole entire mate." My best mate, actually, get run over. Like, that is pretty mad. But um, we pulled him back, but it was, it was his react. He's the thing he says, like, oh, fuck this, I'm going to go over anyway. <laughs> he just junk walked over jungly, and he, we literally had to, like, we both, like, and the thing is, he's a big lad. He still is. Like, he's, a six, he's like six foot fucking five and weighs, like, 15 stone. Like, he's a big bloke, but like, he's just naturally quite a big lad. So we had to literally pull him back. Like, not just me, but, like, my other mate, What's his name? I think his other, the other lad was Aaron, but this is a different Aaron. But we had to literally like pull him back. But yeah, that's about it. Anyway, if you like, subscribe and uh, peace.